Hello there! Today we are going to be playing around with cavalry to make something similar to this effect which, I mean, you are going to be amazed how easy it is to do this. Come on and follow me! By Hulk 79. So, let's go to After Effects. No, 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 no. Let's go to Cavalry. Okay, cool. So, first thing that we need is a text. So, I'm going to click while holding on Alt or Option on a Mac. And then I'm going to align it horizontally and vertically. I'm going to make it way bigger. I'm going to paint it black, like the Rolling Stones song and this is going to be like, for example, an S Ok, cool And I don't mind much about the font itself in this particular case I'm going to crank up the scale, something like that And one thing that I found that was very successful with the... With the uh, about the look of that effect here again is like playing with just these lines kind of situation that we have here which gives it this kind of mechanical technical feeling that I like so for that going back here if you go to the stroke tab I'm going to activate it and in fill I'm going to deactivate the fill of the glyph here and yeah, you have like the thickness here in the width, uh, a 4 should be fine for now. So and now comes the fun part, here in the formers we are going to add a wave deformer, boomba, and yeah, as always you can arrange things differently, I can move this inside the glyph or letter layer here and if I click twice on the deformer which is kind of an effect if you want to uh, make a parallelism to After Effects I click twice here and I have here on the left the different uh, controls for it so for example the strength the number of waves the amplitude and the treble so we're going to be playing with those okay so first thing we are going to really increase the number of ways value uh, and I like this a lot then with the amplitude is where I start like creating this kind of overlapping effect here in the middle which I like and all this craziness in, <laughs> in the terminal of the of the of the letter here so I'm going to keep it going up and up but I would move it so that it's like centered so I have the alignment tools here I'm going to align it vertically that's perfect so to animate this I'm going to go to the beginning of my timeline with the playhead and I'm going to create here in trouble the first keyframe at zero and then I'm going to go to the end of my timeline remember that if you want to change the length of the composition you just hit Control K and here you can change the frame range and the, play and the playback range excuse me so yeah so I can animate it like here for example or just on the controls on the left so I'm going to increase it and go to the beginning, hit the spacebar to see how fast it is and yes, what I like a, a lot about this effect is this kind of thing that's happening on the end here which is kind of weird here too but I, I feel it's super super interesting because it feels like kind of a thread that it's uh, evolving uh, throughout the, the shape of the letter which I find super cool so I'm going to go to the end and this is like let's say this is going to be 2000 and again you hit spacebar maybe this is like too hectic too <laughs> too quick 
so I'm going to go to the end and let's say this can be 1000 let's check it again so as always in animation it's a matter of a matter of just changing the the values and just seeing or checking what what what's happening there so I kind of like this this bit of things so now is the moment where I I'm going to demonstrate how cool cavalry is because without stopping the preview I can keep like uh, messing around with things so for example in the mode I'm going to change it to square so you see how kind of feels different visually uh, so to I like how how the, the animation that makes here is kind of different from the sign okay so sorry one of my kids doesn't want to go to bed <laughs> maybe you can hear it so yeah this is kind of vibrating so yeah let's go back to sign which feels very very kind of smooth and I like it a lot so that was that this is as easy as applying this deformer remember you need to uh, put it here in the formers you open this uh, this menu you add the wave deformer there and then it's a matter a matter of dealing with the different uh, controls here also you can decrease the overall effect with the strength like like so let's let's see if i can use the uh, or create a fall off Yes, because you know the more you fool around the more you figure out so here in the fall off tab I'm going to add a fall off and yeah that's amazing okay so a fall off is a way uh, of kind of isolating the effect uh, on a specific area in this case this circle so you can even like animate the circle so yeah that was like kind of improvised but that's the way cavalry feels you know like you are just playing around with things remember that i have this buy me a coffee web page uh, I, I need to say a special thanks to catalina estrada who bought me 10 coffees that's amazing also to Ma mateus which is always there like supporting me and all the others i also have like this kind of so here going on so yeah, uh, every support is very, very much appreciated because you know I do this channel for free. So yeah, I hope again you enjoyed and you learned something and see you in the next one. Kinetic Kinetic type type series. Series by Hulk 79.